Hello YouTubers, this is Trainman122. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you throwing train cars. I'm going to use the I'm going to do that using my new route. Um, in these two units, you see here some train cars. But right now I am talking. This is my phone. I'm talking to my friend Train Track Trav. Say hi. Hi. See, that was him. Yeah, he's in California. I'm here in New York. Yeah, it's a long story. But I'm probably going to have to go without the sound for now just so we can hear him. All right. It's in reverse. Just just like five seconds so we can hear the horn. Beautiful. Nice. All right, we got us. This is a GP38-2. And that's an SD45. SD45. And then. And by the way, when I go to West Colton, I see SD forty dash twos. Yes, he's an EMD freak. I'm a GE freak. There is a difference. GE energetic, muscular, and dependable. GE is very strong too. It's just they're not very dependable. Anyway, right here we got two dash eights. Union Pacific dash eights. We got a normal one right here, a weathered one right here, and over here. By request of Train Track Trav, right there. Thank you, thank you. It's the DD thirty five A unit and the DD thirty five booster unit right here. Nice, nice, nice. They're they're like in the train yard, and they're gonna be here when I throw the train car. See, the hump yard unit thing right down is right over there, and when I throw them, they're gonna come coasting down here. And I need something to catch them so that they don't go too far. So these guys are going to be here to stop them. And then, you know, I'm going to use them. These is going to be the maintenance train. These, um, the Dash 8s are going to be the maintenance. And then this one's just going to be a general freight. Alright, time to start the show. It's very simple how to work that. But what you gotta take a pro you gotta do this in advance. Advanced. Yes, Travis, advanced. Whoops. It's my bad. Must have clicked on the signal or something bad. Alright. Right here, I downloaded these two Union Pacific passenger cars. Now first you go into free roam and you check your track. You check to make sure all the switches are in place. See, look. If I had done that wrong. If I had done that. Oh, wait. No, it's not. All right. Yeah. I need Q to go back. Okay. And then, see, this is really hard because there's like a dozen switches in one spot. I said go up. Okay. Turn around. Here we go. Need to switch this one right here. Okay. There we go. Okay, there we go. They're switched and ready. Now, I'm going to start with the two passenger cars. They're going to be thrown into the Dash 8s. Yeah. All you have to do is first, you need to build yourself a home. I know, you don't really have to, but, you know, it'll make it look cooler. Uncouple the la the two, the uncouple the train cards you want to uncouple. And then this part's really easy. Just go in reverse really hard. As you can see, we're moving in reverse. It's going up the gray here. Let me... It's going up. And then, once they're at a certain point, stop them. You stop your train. Uh-oh. I said forward. There. You stop your train. They go coasting into the yard. Now let's follow them. In a sec. My mouse is very mean to me. Here we are. Two train cars. 
gliding along. I guess to pass the time, Travis can talk. Okay, I will talk. Um, okay, people, if you have not seen my Union Pacific Heritage Unit videos, check them out on my channel or wherever. I yeah. I saw the Union Pacific 1983, 1996, and 2002 in West Colton. Check them out. Yeah, wasn't it like there was the Southern Pacific, uh, it was in Daylight Paint Scheme. Yeah, and then there was. My dad saw it. He thought it was a BNSF. And then as it got close, he said, "Oh, it's, oh, it's in daylight colors." And you'll hear that at the beginning. Hmm. And then there was also the uh, the Olympic one, right? Yeah, 2002. And then what was the other one again? Uh, Western Pacific. I don't know that one very well. It was the one I was leading. Hmm. It's silver and oh. green. It's kind of orange. Here we go. We're coming up on the dash eight. I know, you can't see them through all the switches and whatnot. Those cars must be going pretty slow. No, they're going to normal speed. I think I accidentally put these tr these engines too far in, is what I did. But, obviously in real life, the train car would not be moving this fast. Or else you'd, 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 pre you'd basically shatter the coupler. But in the game, it doesn't do that. So, here we go. And, bam! See? That's why you put engines in the yard. So that they stop like that. I've seen, I've, when I went to the West Colton Hump, I saw those cars. They were doing about 20 miles an hour when they hit the, into the train. Hmm. So I guess it's I not mean, that off. I mean, they slammed in the end. Huh. Oh well. Well, that was a nice little preview, and unfortunately due to time restrictions, uh, I'm in 7 minutes and 17 seconds, and I really can't, I, I don't think I'd be able to throw another set of train cars before time runs out, so maybe I'll make a second video. Yeah, I'm going to make a second video. Okay, bye.